I can already tell this show's gonna break my heart. Welcome bitches, one and all, to my reaction to episode one of Heartstopper. Now, I am so excited to be bringing this show to the channel. I've been told that it is British and gay, which is right up my alley. And in terms of what else I know, I know Olivia Coleman's in it, which is a huge plus. I feel like Olivia Coleman is one of those actresses that just her being there is like the stamp of approval that this is gonna be a good show. Like, that's all you need. And then also with Young Royal season two not out yet and Julian the Phantoms canceled, I think we can all agree that we've been in a bit of a young queer drama drought. So I'm very happy that we've got this show to fill the void. But yes, with that said, very excited to get into it and see what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go. It's already a vibe. I, I love that this is British as well. Like I honestly sitting here right now, I can't think of a good British show that has like queer representation in. I mean, sex education, but sex education is in a weird world between America and the UK. <laughs> Don't tell me you blew you off. Well, for a bit fucking late, mate. He's already there. Oh, the blush and the heart together. We like to see it. I wonder if it's a one-sided thing, though. God, don't oh, I don't even want to think about school days and liking the bloody straight boys. Let's move on. <laughs> Hi, sir. Come to join the ranks of Hamlet House. Apparently so. Interesting. Is it like a private school? Over there, next to Nicholas Nelson. He's in year 11. So only one year older than you. One of the rugby boys, too, I think. I'm sure you'll get along swimming. A rugby boy. Please don't tell me we're going to have some classic homophobia here. Interesting. Let's hope that he isn't that, based on his reaction. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Aw, that was a sweet introduction. Introduction. Bloody hell. This animation's reminding me of bloody Tracy Beaker. <laughs> hey. Sorry about earlier. It's fine. Right, definitely got a crush. Thank you so much. Oh, or more? Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, it was alright. Oh, he's looking at the lips. This is definitely a relationship. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Um, my whole family was around on Christmas Day, and then. Nice. We like to see it. See you later, then. Yeah. Still don't tell anyone about this. Oh. Okay. There are a lot of things wrong with that. <laughs> So firstly, obviously, don't tell anyone about this. Not a good sign. You never want to be dating someone who's like very in the closet because the problem is when they're quite closed off in that sense, you, you have a lot of growth. If you are not coming out and you're in the closet, unfortunately, you are going to change when you come out. And it's a good thing. Change is always a good thing. It just depends on your perspective. And the issue with relationships when that person isn't out is that when they change, you might not work anymore. So I think it's always best to not go out with the people who are in the closet unless you're both in the closet and you help each other out but i don't know it's just a lot more of a messy situation but then moving on from that the issue with that was he was very cold to him he was trying to express what he did at christmas he was saying like yeah we did this we did that he didn't really care he just wanted to kiss him and then go again it was, that's a bit fucked up mate oh that's, oh, that's a proper secondary school oh i hated that Hi. 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 Oh, he seems really sweet. Like, I know they're just saying hi, but... You going that way? Yeah. Maths. Same. Are you literally doing your homework or walking through your lesson? I might be. <laughs> Mood. Do you want me to see that for you? Then I won't learn. But if you're stuck, I can just... Let me just... Get off. How dare you? <laughs> Lovely, beautiful, fucking Picasso in the house. Hey, what? Why are you talking to me? I don't even know who you are. What a twat! Get away from him, mate. You know what, Ben? You can just fuck right off, mate. That's all I have to say. Tell you're allowed to miss her. Okay, fine. Obviously, it's better that she's at an all-girls school now. You know, Mr. Reed was still refusing to call her elf. Yeah, Mr. Reed's a massive transphobe. Oh my god, what? Aw, that's sad that... Hopefully they're still in the show, though. Sorry, I'm just really distracted by that whole idea. Like, imagine being trans at an all-boys school and then having to come to terms with your identity while also the idea that you'll have to get transferred to another school. Like, 
There's so much that oh that heart must be so painful. You talked, really? About what? Charlie, you don't have a tissue, do you? What the f exploded. What were you doing with it for it to explode that much? It's like I'm wearing blue gloves. You can make it the new school fashion. I'll pretend it's a tattoo. <laughs> he is the star player on the rugby team, and he's friends with a bunch of loud, gross year 11s who are exactly like the guys who bullied you last year. He's different. He's nice. Oh, no. Right, let's just fucking hope that this man isn't straight because I'm getting the crush vibes already coming off this man. Boy, you gotta be careful. Makes me nervy. Oh. Hey, they are on the show. Hell yeah. Spill the tea. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's how my friends used to talk about me. <laughs> oh, my darling. For goodness sake. Don't lie. That's a problem when you transfer during the latter half of a, like, she's transferred not in the actual school year. So it's hard to make more friends because they've already found their groups. No, fuck off. Have fun reading, mate. Dude, don't go. You know, I'm sorry about ignoring you yesterday. You're not though, are you? Let's be real, you're not. It's quite a while since you've hidden in here at lunch. I'm not hiding. Then what are you doing? Eating lunch. Oh, right. Ah, oh, rainbow badge. Hell yeah. Everything's fine. Oh my God. Oh, I will never forget. We were in our tutor once and this girl, she's bi, came in with a rainbow pin on and our tutor got like, I, d I still don't understand to this day. It felt very much like straight panic where she thought that she was doing right. She said like, you can't wear that because it'll be offensive or something. I don't think she knew that this girl wasn't straight. I think she thought she was making fun of gay people by wearing it. I don't know, but they had this whole argument. Girl got angry, slammed the door, walked out, and it was just a whole thing. I still don't understand to this day what our tutor's <laughs> reasoning was. Like, why did she think that wearing a rainbow badge was offensive? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I've, I've got a boyfriend. Oh, well, congratulations. No, keep those claps to yourself. Not congratulations. The guy's a bastard. I don't think he even thinks we're boyfriends anyway. He ignores me sometimes. He Come on. Even like people Come on. Give the older wisdom. Tell this man to leave him. Well, have you talked to him about how that makes you feel? I don't think they really talk Maybe by the looks of it. Him, then. It looks like they literally meet up, kiss, say a few like good words to each other and then move on. What about your friends? Have you talked to them about it? They wouldn't get it. Well, why not? Because they're not gay. Yeah, there's no denying this is very much a queer issue. It's hard to get the point across to straight people because they're not having to lie. They're not having to keep this thing a secret. Fuck off. Right, get away from him, get away from him. You know what, actually, give me the address. I will come down there and punch the bastard around the face myself. I'm not having this. Send it. Please. Oh, I wish I could reach in and grab that phone. <laughs> Imagine if he said that. Meet me in the library. I hate you. <laughs> well done. Oh, I'm proud of you. Don't say sorry. No, mate, that's the point. He's not concerned about getting caught like you. Morning. Jesus, Tori. <laughs> Why's your face like that? <laughs> Break up with my boyfriend. Oh. Is he a knob? Yeah. Hypothetically, what sort of boy do you want to go out with? I assume this is his sister. I don't think I can afford to be that specific. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> I don't know. Such little fish in the sea. I'll take where I can fucking grab. Just someone I can have a laugh with. And he's nice and kind. Nice being with me. So the bare minimum then, my boy. <laughs> Guys, I can't. I'm already getting like, ah. Because like this guy genuinely seems really nice. 
Watching him from afar. Fuck, someone wipe this smile off my face. Bloody hell. Hey. That's awkward. So, um, I had something I wanted to ask you. Charlie, I wanted to tell you that I'm gay too. Um, <sighs> oh, Charlie, get out of your head, mate. What's he actually saying? <laughs> Do you want to join the rugby team? What? Bit of a difference. Just a slight bit of a difference. I thought you might be interested. I don't know if he's the right fit for really rugby. Know how to play. That's fine. I can teach you. Say yes. I'm a bit small and weak to be a rugby player. We're just a school team, you know. It's not that serious. <sighs> so you're saying I am small and weak? Oh. Oh. I love this interaction because, like, not only is he basically saying let's spend more time with each other, but also he's being really nice about it because a lot of people, even in school teams, it's so fucking funny. They get so, like, worked up over it and act like it's their entire fucking personality. And they're like, oh, why are we winning? It's like, mate, it's fucking school PE. Calm down. So just having this guy be like, yeah, it's not that serious. It's school. I'll teach you. Like, join the team. I want you to play. Like, that's so, oh, that's so nice. It's literally just another silly crush. It's not a crush. I don't just fall for any guy who's nice to me. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I know when I was that age, it was that simple. Can he even play? Like, I'm sure he's a nice guy. Want to be and this is the kind of boys that I was talking about. <laughs> Hi. Mm, not a fan of that. Come on, I bet you can do it. <laughs> that was perfect. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Aw, he's on the sidelines, my boy. Hopefully, in time, they'll include you. Hopefully, he can, like, force them to include you. Hey. One, two, three, squeeze, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sensing something more going on between those two. <laughs> I can already tell this show's gonna break my heart. Who are you messaging and what are you saying? No! Don't do it, Charlie. Fuck's sake, mate. He's gonna sweet talk you. He's either gonna sweet talk you or beat you up. I don't know, guys. He keeps looking at him. He keeps, like, giving long looks at him. I feel like he might be at least a little bit queer. I'm wearing a coat. It's not even cold. It's February. Lame. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. Don't touch me. God, what's your problem? I'm trying to be nice. I said I don't want to meet up with you anymore. Yeah, and I don't believe you. What? You're clearly just scared of getting caught. No. Everyone in school already knows I'm gay. You're the one who's scared of getting caught. Yep. You can't even look at me when other people are around. Oh, I think he's going to hit you, mate. I'm really scared. Don't be angry at me for not wanting to come out yet. I'm not <laughs> angry about that. <laughs> wow. You're figuring stuff out fine. Take your time. Just not with me. Don't you think I, of all people, would understand if you're figuring out your sexuality? Then why are you angry at me? I'm angry because you never even slightly cared about my feelings. Mm -hmm. never meet Sorry to pause. I just want to talk about it for a second. I know I said earlier that, like, don't date someone who hasn't come out yet because it's going to be, like, a lot more hassle. That's a very pessimistic view. I'm not saying it's not possible. You can be there for someone when they're coming out and you can go through it together and all that and it could be chill and perfect. Wow, amazing relationship for the rest of your life. The reason I say it is because a lot of people come out once they've left school and I've always had issues with relationships that start in school because they rarely do they last. Like, if I look back at, what are they in, year 10 and 11? That's what? like 16, 17, maybe even 15, those years, I am a completely different person than I was at those ages. So I just, I have a very pessimistic view of all young relationships. However, that's not the issue with these, the relationship that's going on between these two. It's not that he hasn't come out that's the issue. If we were watching this, say we go back to the start of the episode, and we're seeing them start to have a conversation and he's scared about coming out, all of that, but they're still really nice to each other. He says hello to him in the hallway, all shit like that. I would be so on board with that and I would be happy watching that. The issue here is he treats him like shit when they're in public. He acts like he doesn't know him. He talks down to him when they're together. And then the second that he might get a bit of a physical contact from Charlie, he starts sweet talking him. And it's just so like 
oh, it's so toxic and fucked up. And the fact that this guy thinks that it's okay to take his own feelings out on Charlie is just disgusting. And that is why you're not together. You care about me at all. Well, it's not like anyone else is going to want to go out with you, is it? Okay, there we go. Try and knock him down a peg to make him feel like he has to go out with you. Lovely. Charlie. Are you fucking kidding me? Get off him! Charlie, look, I like you, but I'm figuring stuff out. Literally, what more do you want from me? I don't know. Be a decent human being and stop fucking assaulting him. He told you to stop. I... I'm in love. Like, not, not literally, I'm not a paedophile. I'm just saying, like, I'm in love with this scenario of these two and him coming to protect him. Fucking knight in shining armor. Ah. Oh. oh, I love you, nameless boy. Boy who name I can't remember. <laughs> I love... Ah, oh, that's so fucking sweet. He genuinely does come across as such a sweetheart. Through, like, I know we're only on episode one, but every single scene that we've seen him in, he has never once been a dick. And that is, like, so rare at this age. Piss off. You okay? Aww. Did you hear all of that? Most of it. You seemed kind of like something was up while we were getting changed, so I... I thought that he might follow when he was looking at him. Sorry. You have nothing to be sorry about. Exact. Sorry. You say sorry a lot. Don't say it. I kind of want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. We should get out. We'll get locked in if we stay much longer. Yeah. Oh, I love them. That was so fucking sweet. A year eleven rugby boy who's that fucking sweet and nice. Like, where where were all these people when I was younger? I'm going this way. So yeah, I'm, I'm that way. Okay. Bye. Give him your number. Give him your number. Good practice, Nikki. There she is, Olivia. Come on, please. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Just say, I really appreciate what you did today. Thank you so much. Nick. What? Someone's distracted. We're gonna get a look at the phone and smile. I knew it! Is that it? Dude. Dude, I don't have time to watch another. Oh, fuck my life, mate. That was so good. That was so good. Well done, Netflix. You've actually done something right for once. So yes, that was episode one of Heartstopper. I fucking loved it. Like, no joke, fucking loved it. I thought that Nick's character was such an interesting one because to have someone that is on a sports team, and not just a sports team, rugby, like rugby boys are known as being like very, uh, very hyper-masculine. And all of the rugby boys in my school definitely were. So to see a, see a guy like that, who is not only comfortable enough in himself, but is also a fucking sweetheart and is so kind to everyone around him. And he noticed that something was going on with Charlie and that he looked a bit off when he was going to the music block. And he followed him to check that he was all right. Like what kind of human being in your life does that for you? That is so fucking sweet. Now let's take a second to talk about the twat of the season, Ben, who is in the closet. He hasn't come to terms with his sexuality and he's taking all of these negative emotions and just letting them spread out and just infect everything that he comes across. He's a fucking dick to Charlie in public. He's a dick to him in private, right up until the moment where he wants to kiss him and then he'll start being nice and he'll start giving him compliments. Like we saw in the music block at the start of the episode, he said, like, how was your Christmas and all that? And then Charlie started saying, he was like, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm bored, I'm not here for this, can I kiss you? Like, for fuck's sake, mate. And then forcing a kiss onto him, fucking sexually assaulting him. Get the fuck out, mate. Get the fuck out. You you were like down below in my list. I was gonna slap you before, but now you've gone to the point where I'm just gonna punch you around the face, man. I don't care if you're a kid. I'm gonna hit you. Don't you dare do that to anyone. Now, Charlie himself, again, another sweetheart. He is joining the rugby team with Nick as his coach. And luckily, because Nick is the leader of the basketball team and he's actually for once a sweetheart, he should be good. He shouldn't face a lot. The issues that I'm sensing are 
if Charlie and Nick start to actually form some kind of romance, because obviously Nick likes Charlie as well. Let's be fucking real. The way that he looked at the message at the end and smiled and the way that he protected him, he likes him. And the issue that I'm sensing is, obviously, he's on a rugby team. There is inherent homophobia built into that. If they start to get together and date, there might be issues that are caused. And especially with this wanker Ben. God, I forgot his name for a second. Don't really care about his name. Um... The issue with Ben is if he starts spreading this and he starts like talking shit about Charlie and all that, I don't know. I just, ugh. we're on episode one of, I think there are eight. Yeah, there are eight episodes. So there's obviously going to be some drama built into it. And I feel like Ben is going to be the main asshole of the season. So hopefully the drama isn't too bad and it doesn't make me cry because <laughs> I am prone to getting upset with these kind of stories. So yes, I believe that was everything I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to think if there are any other storylines. Well, there was the introduction of the trans character, which I'm excited that they're going to be exploring that because I didn't even like think of the possibility of going to an all, like a single gendered school, finding out you're trans and then having to move away from that school to a completely new environment, completely new friends. And also if you've grown up like up until the age of 16 in all boys schools, then you're suddenly in an all girls school. That's going to be so hard to like navigate because there are going to be different social dynamics there. So I hope that they don't have a hard time. I hope that they don't face any transphobia there and that they're able to make friends. But I don't know, this is a drama show. So obviously transphobia and homophobia are two very easy things to use for drama so i'm sure they're going to pop up at some point but yes like i said fantastic episode and i'm excited for the next one but for now thank you very much for watching i've left a link down below to my patreon be able to find the early and uncut reactions to heartstopper and all the other shows that i do in terms of a schedule i'm not too sure yet I just recorded this on a whim after the Vampire Diaries because I just kept seeing things pop up and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll just do it. But in terms of a schedule, I'll probably put in the comments at some point where Heartstopper is going to lie in the week because I'm going to be doing them one episode a week. So we'll just have to wait and see on that one. But yes, I've also left a link to my Twitch, my Discord and my socials. So be sure to follow them if you are interested. And yes, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.